as part of the Mars 2020 space mission, the Perseverance rover landed on the Red Planet on February 18, 2021, after a media-rich launch from Cape Canaveral on July 30, 2020. Now the first sounds from the surface have arrived on Earth, along with stunning images. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for more fascinating videos in the future. Mars Mission Procedure and Goals The Perseverance rover's Mars mission is part of a NASA expedition to explore space, and in particular, the planet Mars. One of the core objectives is to study the planet's rocks to gain important geological insights. This could lead to the discovery of possible life on the Red Planet, or to a closer investigation of past life. This mission also serves to prepare for a manned Mars mission, which is expected to take place after 2030. The Mars 2020 mission was launched on December 4, 2012. As the mission progressed, scientific instruments were carefully selected and installed in the rover to explore the surface of Mars. A river delta about 3.5 billion years old was chosen as the landing site Although a plateau of hydrothermal vents or a now dried up lake that was once 820 feet deep were also considered. Another goal is to find possible life on the surface of Mars. Therefore, care must be taken to ensure that the rover arrives on the planet as microbe free as possible. Otherwise, life could possibly be found that the Mars rover itself has brought in. Another challenge was to choose a suitable launch vehicle for the space probe. The choice finally fell on the Atlas V 541 rocket, which provides good acceleration with its four solid boosters and Centaur upper stage. The rover finally lifted off from the 41st launch pad at Cape Canaveral Spaceport in Florida on July 30, 2020, and arrived on the Red Planet on February 18, 2021. Encountering the rover on Mars The landing on Mars took place fully automatically on February 18, 2021, because the long transmission time of a radio signal, 11 minutes, prevents any remote control. The stage that was responsible for the landing is able to detect obstacles and even move the landing site by almost 1,000 feet in all directions in case of any discrepancies. For a stable landing, the probe was docked to a planet with igniters that pressed it to the surface and prevented the probe from tipping over. That would be pretty annoying after a journey of a good six months. The probe landed in a crater with little disturbing debris or large rocks. Over the course of its mission, it will explore a riverbed located in the vicinity, which could provide many insights into possible life. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft served as a relay station during the landing, as it's connected to Earth via the Deep Space Network. Since then, the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter has taken over that role. The first sound recordings, which will be discussed in more detail later, were then released on February 22, 2021. Instruments on the Rover the Mars rover has six wheels and is powered by an electric motor. Consequently, it has enough space for many research instruments that analyze the environment and the material surrounding the machine and send this data to Earth. 23 built-in cameras and two microphones are responsible for the image and sound recordings from the surface of Mars. Furthermore, the following instruments are on board. Mascam Z a high-resolution camera that can capture wide-angle images and also has a zoom lens. The SuperCam consists of four spectrometers that can analyze rocks and soil. In addition, this instrument can be used to identify biological signatures in rocks and thus detect possible microbes on Mars. As already mentioned, it's important that microbes are not introduced to Mars by the rover itself. However, the rover's own microbes could be diagnosed by Earth as Martian, and that would cause a huge, media-generated false alarm. 
This instrument was developed by the National Laboratory in Los Alamos, Mexico, with the help of the French Space Agency and several universities. The Pixel is an X-ray fluorescence spectroscope with a high-resolution camera designed to determine the composition of the Martian surface. It can identify different elements, so in retrospect the rocks of the red planet could be compared with the rocks found on Earth, and in this way possible common origins could be found. It was developed by NASA itself. The Sherlock is a spectrometer that detects the exact mineralogy and organic compounds, so it has a similar purpose to the Pixel. The geology of this planet is so much in focus because researchers want to gain knowledge about its history, because, although there may not be life on Mars now, there was liquid water in the past, so there is a significant chance that life once occurred. MOXIE is studying the atmosphere in more detail. It can convert the carbon dioxide already present into oxygen, which it releases back into the atmosphere. The MITA also examines the atmosphere. However, it breaks down dust particles into their geological components rather than gases. It also records wind direction, wind speed, air pressure, relative humidity, air temperature, ground control, certain bands of ultraviolet radiation, visible radiation, and infrared radiation, making it one of the most important instruments. On board are also many other sensors, such as one for radiation and dust, a humidity sensor, an infrared sensor, and several sensors for air temperature and wind speed and direction. The Helicopter Drone Also aboard the rocket is a helicopter drone, the first drone ever used for such a purpose. The so-called Mars Helicopter is powered by solar cells. On Earth, it weighs about 4 pounds, but on Mars, only 1.5 due to the lower gravitational pull. The rotor blades are 3.9 feet long and rotate at about 3,000 revolutions per minute, which is what it needs to take off in the thin atmosphere. The drone carries no cameras and serves only as a test object for future expeditions. Possible follow-up missions As mentioned earlier, this mission also serves to prepare us for a manned Mars mission. Considering that the travel time with today's rockets would be about 9 months, it will probably take at least 10 more years until the first rocket is launched to Mars. However, under the Mars 2020 program, more unmanned missions will follow before a person ever sets foot on the red planet. In addition, a second mission is being considered to deliver the collected rocks to Earth. This is similar to what happened with the moon landing. Several samples weighing about 5 ounces would be taken and individually packed into 43 containers on board. On Earth, rocks and other materials can be examined much more precisely. This is due to the fact that the large and heavy research equipment often cannot fit into a rocket because it's too bulky and would require far too much fuel to transport. The machines that can really analyze the material precisely are located on Earth. So a so-called return mission would make perfect sense. Image and sound recordings on the Martian surface. On February 22, 2021, the first image and sound recordings of the Martian surface arrived on Earth. They were taken in the Jezero crater where the rover landed. They show a gray, stony, and somewhat hilly landscape. In addition, a light wind can be heard. The U.S. Space Agency, NASA, received many congratulations on this, including from the current U.S. President, Joe Biden, who described the landing as historic and emphasized American ingenuity. One thing is certain, the images are unique and certainly deserve positive response. Insights for Science What is certain is that science has gained many groundbreaking insights from the expedition already. First of all, of course, the findings about Mars are in the foreground. Much will be learned about its history, its geological composition, its atmosphere, 
and possible biological life. The latter is particularly central. Since with the new facts, much could be concluded about the emergence of life on Earth. In addition, space travel has also advanced a good deal as a result of the Mars expedition. The rover must first prove itself, but if errors occur, the experience gained can be taken into account for future designs. In our opinion, the Mars expedition is a huge step in the exploration of this planet. It is costly and time-consuming, but Mars could be a planet where people live in the future. Considering that we are increasingly exploiting our Earth's resources and risking the existence of other species and a comfortable climate, the strategy of colonizing Mars could be part of the solution. Beyond that, the video just looks groundbreaking. What do you think? Do you think exploring Mars makes sense? And what would you do if you had the opportunity to be the first person to set foot on the planet? Feel free to let us know in the comments. And thanks for your interest.